Hello, my name is Carol Mikesh, faculty at Milwaukee Area Technical College Dental Hygiene Program. Today we're going to view different techniques for taking vitamin rating breaths. You set, have your patient tragus out of the line parallel to the floor. Set the front of the film at the mesial of the second premolar. Have them bite in order to get the distal of the last molar, and then aim between, with a 10 degree angulation, aim between the first and second molar, and then check that you're centered over the upper and lower arch at the occlusal plane. For the premolar view, in order to get the distal of the canines on most patients, you can get that view by going across the arch to the opposite lateral canine, have them close, and then just come and aim again, positive 10 angulation, aim between the first and second premolar, and then check the occlusal plane. Okay, when using the rin holder, you place the film in the rin holder and place it again, the mesial of the second premolar, seat it in the arch, have them bite. And the most important thing here is that the ring is centered over both arches when you line up the PID to be parallel to the ring. Okay, when viewing the premolar view, if you turn the holder towards you, place the white side of the film towards you, and then go across the arch, again between the lateral and canine on the opposite side, and as you close, you bring the ring back to be centered over the premolar, and the ring has to be centered between both arches and then make your PID parallel to the ring. When you're doing the vertical bite wing, you want to put the vertical bite wing in uh, opposite of the, the ring, center the film on the bite block, and now because of the size of the teeth, we're going to start at the distal of the last erupted molar and come forward to get, enable to get the last, the two to three millimeters beyond the last molar, and then have them close and line up the PID parallel to the ring. To do the premolar view again, we're, we're going to be able to get the, the six-year molar on the view. So again, go across arch, bring your wrist back to center the, pre, uh, the ring over the premolars, and then line up the PID to be parallel to the ring. When we're doing the anterior, starting with the canine view, you want to use the vertical anterior holder and you place your film in the same way. And for this one, we, we could use number two or number one film, but we're going to use number one because of the mannequin. So we're going to center the canine on the bottom arch and then just line up the PID again parallel to the ring. When using the paper film, you have to use a sticky tab and then to extend it. I could use number two or number one films. So we're going to use number one film on the anteriors because of the mannequin. You seat it on the lower arch, have them bite edge to edge for the anteriors, and then aim between the first uh, between the contacts of the centrals. And when you're doing the canine view, again center the, the bottom canine have them bite together, and here you can either aim between the lateral and the canine to get the mesial contact open, or come from the distal and get the distal contact open, which should show up on the premolar view. So let's aim between the first and s between the canine and the lateral, come up, and then check your occlusal plane. To see the molar view again, we're going to look at how many molars we have. We have three, so we're going to start at the distal of the last molar to get that two to three millimeters of bone and then have the person bite down. And now you would be aiming between the third and second molar and then check your occlusal plane. Now we're going to the XCP holder and we will put the dot in the that's on the film into the incisal edge or into the holder and we're going to do the molar view. So you go in on an angle, you place the film on the teeth and the front of the film again is at the mesial of the second premolar. 
You want them to be biting away from the film because we're doing paralleling techniques, so the teeth should be away from the teeth. The film should be away from the teeth. And then we're just going to, again, line up the PID with the ring for the paralleling technique. Okay, again, place the dot in the slot or into the holder. That's another way to look at it. Go in on an angle, center the premolars. Now the front of your film is, is as tight up against the back of the anterior teeth and then have them bite, and as they bite, you bring the ring down a little bit. And then line up the PID with the ring so that it's all parallel. Now we switch to the anterior holder, so you notice it has more bends in it, and the, the ring is centered over the holder. We're going to use our vertical bite block, and the two holes closest to the end of the bite block. Again, the dot goes in the holder, and now we're going to center the canine, again lay, lay it back in the palate, center the canine on your film, have them bite, and then put, oh, he's not biting. and then have them bite, and then line up your PID parallel to the ring. And for the central incisor, you put the dot in the slot the same way lay it back in the palate, have them bite between where the prongs go into the holder, then bring your ring in, you center the centrals on your, on your film, and then just line this up so you're parallel to the ring. Okay, for the mandibular centrals, we're going to put the dot in the holder and center this way back at the molar view. You'd be pushing against the person's tongue. As they bite, you bring the ring up, move it in, and then line up your PID parallel to the holder. Now to do the canine, again, dot in the slot, center the canine, you'll be pushing against the person's tongue. As they bite, you bring the ring up and you're centered right over the canine. And if it is crooked like that, that's all you need to do is put a cotton roll in there and hold it so that you stay centered over the canine. And then line up the PID. Okay, now we're going to do the mandibular uh, molars and premolars. Again, dot goes in the slot, and then you're going to come across the arch for the premolar, opposite lateral canine. As the person closes, you center the ring over the premolar teeth, and then line up your PID to be parallel to the ring. On the molar view, the object of this technique, again, is to get the apices of the teeth. So we want to go back, push the film back a little bit in the holder, and then go back so that the mesial of the film is at the mesial of the six-year molar, and then you will get the apex of the last erupted molar. And then line this up parallel to the, to the ring.